So can Blender do this? Asking for a friend, of course. All right, we are gonna do some sculpting on the head. Yada, 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 looks great. I love it, love it. Screw things up just a little bit. Sculpt, sculpt, sculpt. Looking lovely, lovely, lovely. Time to hit the nose. Do some big changes here. Look at that big old sniffer. Oh yeah, that is what we need. Let's bounce back to the head. Get those lips in there. Then to the teeth. Let's bounce back to the head and press Control Z. Let's bounce to the nose. We can undo that. Bounce to the teeth. Uh, we can undo that. Ah, you know what? I actually want to go forward a little bit further. So if you didn't catch it, what I'm doing there is actually amazingly powerful. And I've never seen another 3D software do it. So every subtool inside of ZBrush has its own undo history. In Blender, as far as I know, if you press undo, you know, it's just going to undo. It's very linear. But having undo history for each subtool is just crazy powerful. And it's honestly unheard of. Now, I know this is no easy feat for mere mortals, but we're talking about Blender here. If anybody can do it, it would be Blender. 